What's up my 91 subscribers, and yeah, I know I don't normally talk during the intro, but I wanted to ask you if you could please check out my last video where my friends and I played Bed Wars and a lot of funny and stupid things happened. Uh, I know that's probably not what you're sub for, it's not what you're here for, but a lot of blood and sweat was put into editing that video, and I'm very happy with how it turned out, so please go check it out. If you play Minecraft, I think you'll really enjoy it. Just give the click either now or after the video, or not at all if that's not your cup of tea. Either way though, thanks for clicking on the video, and the show will start soon. Bahamut Cat is a staple of the game. Many strategies, both early and late game, revolve around him as a win condition. Whether it be stacking his evolved form in the crazed cat stages, or using his true form to rush down end game bosses like Queen Bee. So it kind of goes without saying that Bahamut Cat's a great unit, and he's a really big part of the game. So, let's look at his evolved form first. In this form, Bahamut is a high damage backliner, boasting a whopping 85k damage, but with a below average, but still good in early game, 4.25k DPS. Bahamut also has decent cost and cooldown, pretty average, but nothing terrible, and 450 range. Bahamut in all forms has no ability, so he's purely a stat based unit. Uh, compared to other similar units, Bahamut's pretty below average, as I said his DPS is not the best, but this guy will be your first good area ranged attacker because the Valkyrie completely sucks, and you get him on really early after you beat Empire of Cats Chapter 3. So he's a great counter to these early game enemies like Teacher Bear, Ursa Major, Moth, and many more. His high damage also allows him to completely nuke enemies like Otter and Ductions, among any other enemies in this path. Overall, great starting it and useful against any enemy he outranges at this point. The good things about Bahamut are his easy and early accessibility, as you acquire him from Chapter 3 Moon, uh, good early game stats and usage, as well as force or <coughs> excuse me, force crown usage, but that's about it though. Again, no ability, so that's all I can really say here. Pretty basic unit. The bad things about Bahamut are a bit more numerous, unfortunately. Long 4 second 4 swing long time between attacks, 20 seconds, and being very power corrupt in mid to late game are all cons of Bahamut, so with all these issues in mind, you'll probably be swapping him out for a better generalist backliner once you get one. If you put him on the rank scale though, in early game he'd get an A, so as I said earlier, he's one of the only ranged backliners you'll have at this point, so his role is very valuable and unfulfilled unless you got a generalist uber somehow through luck. He'll basically carry you through part most of End of the Future, along with Crazed Cat, Eraser, and Axe. In mid game, I gave Bahamut a B. If you're going no gacha, he's still a decent backliner unit, but he gets outclassed by many super rares and rares such as Figure Skaters and Salon Cat, and by, you know, any other generalist ubers you've unlocked at this point. The reason he's in B, however, is his usage in the Lil Awakening stages, being almost mandatory in Lil Mohawk, Tank, Axe, and is decent in most of the other ones, if you're not using his true form. In late game, I gave Bahamut a C-. His stats are way too power crept by enemies at this point, and the biggest fault is that you're always going to be using his true form instead, since it's more unique and has more uses. Uh, Bahamut's role in evolved form is very replaceable, and you're going to find a lot of replacements by late game, so the only time you'll really be using this form is in 4 star stages. But, even then, you'll have his true form, and you use that more often. Not to mention, the special legend true forms outclass uh, Evolved Bahamut. Like, Ura Run true form has way more DPS than him. Mina has LD and still good damage, so, you know, you won't use it much, basically. So, Into the Future 3 is where you get to the goods. Uh, after beating Into the Future 3 Moon, you'll finally unlock Bahamut's true form, as long as he's level 20 or up. This completely changes Bahamut's role in battle. He goes from a slow, lumbering, high-range backliner to a super fast, super strong melee rusher, boasting a whopping 93.5k damage and 30k DPS from 200 range and 60 speed. Bahamut is a force to be reckoned with now. He does have multi-hit now though, with the parameters shown. Since the second and third hit do so little damage, the first hit is really the only one that's important, and it does the same damage as Evolved Bahamut actually. A Bahamut also has full backswing, meaning he'll attack immediately after being knocked back by an enemy or knockback ability, and this increases his DPS further. A Bahamut can kind of be compared to Atlas from Greek mythology in that he completely holds up the metagame, where Atlas held up the world. As I said earlier, many strategies revolve around this guy, and he is one of the few no gacha rushers, and definitely the most powerful by far of all rushers in the game. So comparing him to other rushers, you can see he's pretty unrivaled. Uh, his closest matches are Bullet Train, who is often called a mini Bahamut, Yukimura, who is a light version of Bahamut almost, he costs less and he has less cooldown. But overall, none of them can really match his power, 
especially his generalist usage because he has no ability, but his DPS is through the roof. In terms of positives, Bahamut actually has a lot of these in true form. Easily accessible still in the future chapter 3, and he's a free unit. Uh, God tier damage and DPS, full backswing animation, extremely reasonable price even for that. High speed, and good KB counter all serious positives Bahamut has that combined make him the optimal rusher. As for cons, the only one I could really think of is low range, but I mean he's a rusher, so if Bahamut had more range, he'd just be completely overpowered. Or not overpowered, he'd be even more overpowered than he already is. If you can think of any other cons, please leave them in the comments, because again, the meta revolves around this man, and I don't really know how many cons you can have when you're a unit who literally changes the way you play the game. Oh yeah, as for positives, I forgot to mention, his four swing is now almost instantaneous. So yeah, that's a con removed from his evolved form, along with like everything else bad about his evolved form. Moving on to his rankings now. If we rank him in early game, you don't have his true form, so I just didn't rank him in this at all, but skipping the mid game, I had to give Bahamut an S. His rusher role has many uses, from quickly slipping into an LD enemy's range like Mina and Learn to Love, to timing him to deal as much damage as possible and killing powerful enemies like Aros and H Na, to chipping down big bosses like Manic Flying and Taboo of the Dead, his great and varied uses give him S tier. The same exact logic is why Bahamut is also S in late game. Relic Queen B, Huffsley's Comet, and many other fall victim to him. Remember, if an enemy has less than 200 range, you can consistently keep up that 30k DPS, which is pretty funny. Now for a specialist score. Again, S. I said Bahama is a staple of the game, and he's the poster child of rush units. He's one of the only rush units you'll have, unless you got Yukimura or something. And even then, the reason Yukimura is so good is because he's like Bahama. He's very simple. I think I've said enough on why this guy is so great. And aside from a racer cat, he might be the most important unit in the game. 10 out of 10 unit, extremely good, and important. Not as much to talk about this time since he's purely a stat based unit and most of the other units I've talked about so far have had abilities, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed it regardless, thanks for watching to the end, and please 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 do me a solid and go check out my bedboards video. I'm sorry for begging and soliciting and being annoying about it, but again, it's probably one of the most effort videos I've ever made just because it took so long to edit. So anyway, I'll stop bothering you, see you on the flip side, have a good day.